account migration is here. Those of you who are on Java Edition, it is time to move your Mojang account to a Microsoft account. And for that, you'll get a free cape. Yes, a free cape. Those don't happen very often. Normally you have to like go to a Minecon, which those don't happen anymore, or be part of a very special team like the Realms team or the Translation team, okay? I only know one language, that's not gonna happen. Or you need to be specifically picked out by a developer to have a cape. Well, here is for a limited time, I'm not even sure when this will end, a way to get a free cape if you migrate your account. If you're like, Whoa, okay, what is going on? What is this account migration thing? I've never heard of it. I'll explain in summary. Those of you who are on Java Edition, and this really, this only affects those of us who are, are using the Java Edition of the game. If you're on a console or a phone or play on Bedrock Edition, sorry, this does not apply to you. If you're on the Java Edition of the game, you've been using a Mojang account to sign in to Minecraft. That is now switching to a Microsoft account and you get all the benefits of a Microsoft account with that switch. So uh, like two-factor authentication, better account support, and you also get a gamer tag. Now, if you're freaking out, like, oh, is this mean I'm gonna lose my Minecraft username and now it's gonna be a uh, Microsoft gamer tag, Xbox gamer tag, uh, I don't want that because obviously I like my username that I'm using with Minecraft right now. The good news is, is that nothing changes. All you're doing is linking the accounts together. So if you have a Minecraft username that you like, you're gonna keep it. If you have a Xbox gamer tag that you like, you're gonna keep it. There's basically a wall between the two sides of the Minecraft stuff and the Xbox gamer tag stuff. You're just linking them together. Chad from the future, you are linking them together, but I didn't make it clear that once you link them, you will only use your Microsoft account to log in to anything to do with Minecraft uh, from now on. So your Mojang account basically goes away and you'll be using your Microsoft account after you link it to log in to change anything with your account and to play Minecraft. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's a few different scenarios for this. Either you're a Java player who has a Xbox gamer tag and a, a Microsoft account, or you're a Java player who doesn't have a Xbox gamer tag or a Minecraft or Microsoft account. So we're gonna cover both of those here. And hopefully after the migration is complete, you will have a new cape, which will be really, really cool. I mean, who doesn't love capes? <laughs> I do, I love capes. So here we are on the PC and this is the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, at the bottom of my launcher, I have two sort of pop-ups that say, uh, time to migrate your account. And if you don't see these pop-ups, you may even get a massive pop-up uh, on your screen. And let me bring that up. And that'll look like this, ready to move to a Microsoft account, question mark. And you can click the get started button uh, if you want to do that. Uh, basically, all of that means your account is ready to be moved. If you don't get that pop-up, the other way to check to see if your account is ready to migrate, I'm gonna remove my uh, video right here, is log in at minecraft.net. And after you've logged in, if you go to your profile, so you can click this and click profile, you'll see this big thing that says, it is time to move to your new Microsoft account. So you can click move my account here, uh, or you can click all the stuff on the launcher. Either way, uh, go ahead and click move my account. The first step is to verify your email address. And if for some reason you don't have that email address anymore, you don't remember what that email address is, uh, it's time to contact support to get to, you gotta go to Mojang Sport for that. Uh, but if you do know your email address, go ahead and click get code. You can see that it's asking for this confirmation code and that has just been emailed to me. So we're gonna go ahead and put that confirmation code in here. We're gonna click submit and start a migration. And now it is going to ask if I already have a Microsoft account. I'm already signed in to a Microsoft account, but you don't have to use the one you're signed into immediately. You can switch to a different account if you have another one that's not signed in, or you can create a whole new account from scratch. I'm going to uh, first go through the process with the account that I already have. So I'll click that, fill out my password, it's gonna ask me a 
focus a little question. Uh, no, I don't. And there we go. So I'm almost ready to move my account. And this may freak people out because it shows your gamer tag and not your Minecraft username. I obviously adore my Minecraft username and I do not want to get rid of it. And I wish this was a little bit more obvious that it would say Minecraft username in parentheses, you're going to keep this username, uh, Xbox gamer tag, you know, you're not going to show up in Minecraft as this gamer tag, because uh, that kind of freaked me out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click complete move. And now on my profile page, it says move complete, and it says profile name, and that stands for Minecraft username, and that is my username in Minecraft, and then Xbox gamer tag, that makes sense, OMG Chad one, which is fantastic. Back over here at the launcher, it logged me out of the account that I was just in. So this is the one that I was in and it looks like I, I can't use it again. Yeah, uh, in, invalid, invalid. So I have to go back and we're gonna go ahead and remove this account now. We're gonna hit add account and now we are adding a Microsoft login, not a Mojang account. And it's going to ask us to log in to Microsoft and the launcher pops up with my gamer tag this time. So we're gonna hit, let's go. But as I log in, you'll see that it says Microsoft account under OMG Chad one. This is confusing because it's not showing that I actually own the game yet. Please, Microsoft. I'm gonna re-log in there. There we go. Now it is active. And as you can see, my gamer tag is the first line, but my username is the second line here on the account page and all you have to do is hit view all accounts to, to get to where I'm at or click the accounts tab. So when I go back over here to Java edition, it says play and I will play as my normal account. But if I head on over here to skins, you can see something new, which is uh, let's just edit one. Of, <laughs> I have a lot of skins. We're going to edit this skin right here and you can see I have a new cape. Yes, I have a few capes because I've been to a few mine cons, but I have the Migrator cape, which looks incredible. Oh my gosh, all your friends are gonna be jealous if you have this cape. I really, really, really love the look of this cape. So we can save and use that. Loading up Minecraft now, jumping into a world, just a random little world. And as you can see, I have all of the things and uh, that's the keep without the elytra if i throw on the elytra that also looks uber duber cool and if i say anything in chat so let's just say something you can see that my username is not my minecraft my microsoft gamer tag it is my minecraft username um, and so we have migrated that account successfully so i've successfully migrated my minecraft account to my Microsoft account, but what if you didn't have a Microsoft account in the beginning? So we're gonna do that now. Also, just as a side note, this is the account that I will be uh, migrating. Over here in the skins area, when I'm logged into this account, I have no capes, no capes for me. So uh, we're hopefully going to get the migration or migrator cape with, with this. So now let's go ahead and head back over to minecraft.net and log in. Here we are with the spooky ghost account. So I'm gonna move my account and get that same code. Enter in the code. And this time I don't want to use this account. I want to make a new account. So uh, it says no account. We're gonna choose create one. And we can either add an email address that we already own, or we could get a new email address. So if I wanted like say Outlook or Hotmail, that might be cool. Spookyghost at hotmail.com, don't mind if I do. Then we will create our own password. Going to add our birthday, and possibly this is already filled out uh, from your Mojang account, maybe not. And now we need to create, wait, we're, wait we're, we're solving a puzzle. What on earth is this thing? Is this a vase? I don't, wait, how am I supposed? I have no idea what this is. That looks sort of correct. <laughs> that, that took me too long, apparently. I'm being judged by this account creation tool. So now it is time for me to create a gamer tag uh, because I didn't have one associated with this Microsoft account because there was no Microsoft account. So, uh, 
looks like my tag, my gamer tag is pretty long, and it, it's going to add these numbers at the back of the username, unless if I can find like a username that no one's ever had before, a gamer tag that no one's ever had before. So this, you know, I just slam my keyboard. Um, that uh, hasn't ever existed before, so I could get one without numbers, or I can get one with numbers. It could also just be named Cramped Sleet. What a great username, Cramped Sleet. This is, this is Seems like I have bathroom issues. After searching around, I didn't find anything I liked, so we'll just be Spooky Ghost 826. And we can change our profile to a profile icon to anything. I'll be diamonds. Actually, is there a ghost? Is there a ghost? No. A creeper's close enough. So we'll choose this creeper. Let's go! There we go. So Spooky Ghost 826 is my gamer tag. We are gonna complete this move. And we did it! Woohoo! Over here at the launcher, I haven't touched a thing yet. So if I go over here, go to view all accounts, you can see the spooky ghost account. If I, uh, hmm, let's see, let's uh, let's just log out of it. Like, goodbye, remove the account. And we're gonna log in, and if all goes according to plan, welcome back, spooky ghost. There we go. We are active here. You can see the gamer tag with the account username. We'll go over here to Java Edition, Skins. I'm gonna edit this. And you can see the Migrator Cape, hooray! And there you have it. That is how you move your Mojang account to a Microsoft account. Some frequently asked questions. Number one, can you migrate multiple Minecraft usernames into one Microsoft account? No you need a one-to-one. -one. So if you have one username or one Mojang account, uh, that has to be linked to one Gamertag or Microsoft account. And if you have multiple, you will still need multiple logins for your Microsoft accounts. Another question is, uh, and it's a bug that I ran into even in this video, is right after I migrated my account, it said that I didn't own the Java edition of the game. Uh, all you have to do is just refresh or you know close out the launcher, open up the launcher, you know just try turning it off and on again, basically, and it uh, it resolved itself. A question I personally had was now that I have linked the two accounts, if I only owned Java Edition Minecraft, can I now play on Bedrock Edition Minecraft? The answer is complicated. Uh, it looks like no, you cannot just if if that is your only Microsoft account, you cannot go to the Microsoft store, download Minecraft, the game, and play it. But, it's complicated, like I said. I have one gamer tag that owns the Minecraft game. When I log into that account and download the game, I can then log in to any other gamer tag, and it doesn't have to be associated with a Mojang account, and I can play that game on the same device that the other account was signed into. I hope that that makes sense. And the last question is, what if I don't have the email or don't remember the email associated with my Mojang account, my old Minecraft username? Well, that is something you're gonna have to reach out to either Microsoft support or Mojang support or change your email in your account settings. Uh, you're gonna have to figure out how to do that uh, before you can switch because you need that email confirmation to switch. The last thing I wanna say, is I do not know how long these capes will last. Uh, they could always be a thing. If you if you migrate your account at any moment in the next 18 years, uh, maybe you can get this cape. It could end any day. It could end tomorrow. I have no idea. So, if you at all want to move your account, do it as fast as possible so that you can get this cape because it's awesome. <laughs> it's really, really, really cool. Um, and also, I believe that moving the account is not a big deal because Microsoft accounts, I believe, are more secure than Mojang accounts. Just having two-factor authentication is a huge deal. So migrating your account uh, is something you probably want to do, even if the cape wasn't involved. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have more questions, I will link some helpful articles in the description box so that, uh, you know, that will link directly to the blog posts that the Microsoft and Minecraft teams have made. So hopefully all of your questions are answered there. 
And if not, hey, uh, I'm, a, I'm a YouTube account that covers all of the Minecraft news, tips, tricks, and tutorials. So please subscribe, leave a like on this video if it helped you out, that will help me out. And leave your comments down below, letting me know your thoughts about this whole account migration thing. See you guys in another video, bye.